Well, hello everyone, the Ontario Garden here, back with another Played Up Automation tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about lemon-flavored sponge cake. This is part of the uh, new bakery update. Some call it the anniversary update, I call it the bakery update. And other videos that I've covered are chocolate cake and also coffee cake. And now we're going to be talking lemon cake. So this is pretty much the same setup as you have for chocolate, as you have for coffee, except down here, I'll use my mouse, you have your lemon tree going into a corner grabber, going to a conveyor mixer, going to your combiner. Basically everything else, this is your basic from here to here, including the milk to here, including the pan. This is your basic sponge cake or cake, whatever you want to call it, recipe. And then here's where I have, I have double or triple um, prep stations just to show you how it, to show you that it doesn't break because I have covered it in other videos that there are systems out there that show the bowl combining, combine like the combiners being all lined up in a row. That doesn't work. It doesn't work going into here because what happens as the sugar will combine with the egg um, after the bowls have been completed through and then they'll never combine again. So again, beware of what you see online as far as things, if they work or they don't work. And I can tell you right now, having the combiners go that way to have a full auto system, I'm just cleaning the mess for now, does not work at all. It will jam up. This is a flawless method of running this. You can see the cakes, again, they took 45 seconds. If you're on a danger hob, they'll take 22 and a half seconds. Here's where having full automation plus a gas override would really be helpful if you have someone to do that or if you have it set up in a way where you could just stand here and do the gas override um, just because of how well, how long it takes to cook, because you can only cook one at a time. Now, if you would implement another cake stand, you could rig that in along here somewhere to have two cake pans going. But again, this is the this is my compact automation. Now, as always, my automation doesn't necessarily count having prep stations, but I just threw them in here just to show you what you could do. If you get rid of these two and these two grabbers, you'd have a seven by five with one square, a couple squares open, and that would be a 35 square block. And that's pretty much as comp as you compact as you can make it for nothing jams. Remember, having a system where you have a combiner, combiner, combiner with all the ingredients out here feeding in does not work. It will break your system. Trust me, as soon as the first bowls are through, it'll break. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. We much appreciate it. And if you're enjoying these automation tutorials, hit that subscribe button, take the bell notification icon. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.